let's see the properties of uh, divisibility of integers. The definition of divisibility is given here. If d is expressed as the multiplication of two integers k and a, then we say a divides b and write this. The symbol is used when a cannot divide b. Let's see some examples. Integer 10 is expressed as 2 multiplied by 5 and 1 multiplied by 10. So we can say 2 divides 10, 5 divides 10, 10 divides 10, but 7 cannot divide 10, and 20 cannot divide 10. There are some properties of uh, divisibility of integers. We summarize them as theorem 3 as the facts of divisibility. For integers, the following are true. a divides 0, a divides 1, a, 1 divides a a divides b, then a divides bc, a divides minus b, minus a divides b, minus a divides minus b. a divides b and b divides c, then a divides c. a divides c1, a divides c2, a divides cn, then a divide C1 x1 plus C2 x2 plus Cn xn, where xn is some integer. C is not 0 and A divides B, then AC divides BC. Uh, the reverse is also true on the condition that C is not 0. A divides B and B cannot be zero, then the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B has this relation. The absolute value A cannot exceed B, the absolute value of B. If A divides one, then A is plus minus 1. A divides B and B divides A. On the condition that B cannot be 0, then B equals plus minus A. The proof is given uh, here. The key method uh, of proof is using uh, the definition of divisibility. If A divides B, then B can be expressed as Ka. Here, K is some integer. So, by replacing B as this, you can arithmetically can prove, easily prove uh, these theorems. Let's see other properties of divisibility. We suggest there's a problem. Prove these followings. For integers, the followings are true. A divides B and C divides D. Then A C divides B D. The proof is so simple. We'll let A, B, and D like this, and we get this. So, AC divides BD. A divides B, then the nth power of A divides the nth power of B. If A divides B and A divides D, then A divides B plus D and A divides B minus D. If A divides B and A divides D, 
d then the nth power of a divides the summation of two and power of b and d and or the nth power of a divides the difference of two as part of b and d the proof is so simple so i'll not omit the detailed explanations